everyone, it's Arlene. I wanted to share a Halloween mini album with you guys. And this mini album is made using recycled tissue paper rolls. And this is basically what they are. Everybody knows what these are. Uh, basically, it's when you're done with your tissue paper in the bathroom. Save the rolls. And you can actually make a mini album out of it. And this has been around for quite some time, so this isn't anything new. I'm sure many of you have seen this already, but believe it or not, this is my only my second time making a mini album like this with the tissue paper roll. So uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a mini album using the Halloween in Wonderland paper collection by Graphic 45. So that's what I did. So let me go ahead and show you uh, how I put this mini album together. So I used a total of six uh, tissue paper rolls. Okay. And then for each um, tissue paper roll, I flattened it out. So basically you just it's round and then you just take it and you flatten it out. Right, so here's the here's the toilet paper roll. So what I did is I just flattened it out, and then I used my bone folder to um, crease the ends to make it a really nice fold. And then what I did is I took some <clears throat> student grade acrylic paint, which is just the Liquitex Basics in the Mars Black, and I painted each one. And I also painted in here, if you guys can see. So when you take the tag out. Um, it's not, you can't see the, uh, the cardboard. It's just, it's black, so it kind of blends in well. So I did that first, and then for each page, I took the designer paper, and I edged it with my Zutter. I was gonna do it like one by one, and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm so lazy. So I used my Zutter Distress It All. Basically, I took all of the design paper and um, just stacked it up and just ran it through my Distress It All. So that's basically how I distress the edges of the designer paper. And I cut the designer paper just a little bit smaller than the um, tissue paper roll, so you can see a little bit of the black um, acrylic paint on the background. So I edged um, all of the designer papers, too, with Black Soot Distress Ink by Ranger. So that's how all of the pages are done. So six to toilet paper rolls. And then I used a large Tim Holtz D-ring, if you guys can see that. Large Tim Holtz D-ring. For the binding and I'm still kind of in the middle of whether or not I like the D-rings. Um, they work on some projects but sometimes it's like it, it doesn't flip, the pages don't flip too well when you have the D-ring binding so I don't know. Uh, others may have, have like a different opinion on it but they look cool but it doesn't turn as, as well. So anyways on the binding I have um, all types of lace so I have this black lace here I'm sorry if I'm off camera. I have my um, flip camera kind of a little bit higher. And then I have this one here. And then I have black tulle, which I tied on two different places. And then I have this really pretty um, ribbon with beads in it. It's really, it's actually trim. So if you guys can see that. But I liked it because it it added a lot. And I like the, um, the hairiness of the fiber that's on the ribbon. So, and then on here, I just put a little Tim Holtz trinket that I alcohol inked black. I alcohol inked most of my metal embellishments on this mini album with, um, with alcohol ink. And I used the pitch black um, by Ranger. Okay, so it, the little trinket pin says me memento. And then I put on a uh, Tim Holtz jump ring. And then I got this little key. And I can't remember where I got this key, but it's not Tim Holtz. I think it might be one of those K and Company from um, Life's Journey. I'm, I'm not sure, but I alcohol ink that one too. And then I put the, um, on the cover, I put the Tim Holtz book corners on there, and I alcohol ink those. And then I have the ornate frame, and then I stamped Beware, and this is from the Hall one of the Halloween, the Wicked Halloween stamp set by Oxford Impressions. And then I have the... Um, Key cat from the paper collection, from the Halloween and Wonderland paper collection, and all of my cutouts I mod podged so that they um, last over time and so they're nice and finished. And then um, Prima Bling, and then this spider web in the background, I showed this on a recent haul. It's this um, felt ribbon by Martha Stewart, and you can get that at Michael's. And then I have a Muse token, and I am Rose's black flower, and then I have some of the black aluminum flowers um, peeping out there. So that's my cover. And then what I said about the tags is, of course, each tissue paper roll has a tag. And these tags are made out of recycled cardboard as well. I think it was like a backing from one of my paper pads. So I recycled, like, all, everything pretty much, like I said, um, tissue paper rolls and then the tags. Um, so I just put designer paper on both sides, and then I used my corner chomper. And I did it on a quarter, a quarter inch. I used my corner chomper to chomp um, the edges around the corners. 
and then I used my Stampin' Up! Um, what's this called? Round Label Punch, I guess that's what it's called. Sorry for the glare. There you go. Um, to punch those little thingies out. And I left them blank because um, it's a little bit of a tight fit in um, the toilet paper rolls. And you can't really embellish much because it'll get caught, you know, on the... Um, when you push it in and out or pull the tag in and out. So I'm using the insides to put my pictures because I'm going to just lay them flat on there. And then I have these stickers, and I can't remember now where I picked these up, but I love, love, love these. And these are by Making Memories, and it's called Spook Alley. And they're all little Halloween sentiments. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's 310 words, and it's called Word Fetty Stickers. And depending on what pictures I'm going to put where, I'm going to put those Word Fetty stickers, like, on the labels and over the pictures and, you know, kind of layering them over the pictures that I put on the tags. So, um, because I don't have any pictures in there yet, I have, I'm not going to put those on. Okay, so, so that's my first page. And then this, um, this philosophy tag that's on here, I alcohol ink that too with the black, uh, pitch black alcohol ink. Okay, so let's see how challenging it is to turn this mini album with this D ring. Okay, so again, another cutout from the paper collection that I mod podged. And then these tickets here are from the Odds and Ends um, stamp set by Tim Holtz. And this one, and I alcohol ink them, I'm sorry, not alcohol ink, I glimmer misted them with the um, Black Magic Glimmer Mist. And I just love that Glimmer Mist by um, Tattered Angels. So it's a Halloween tag, so I could do some little bit of journaling in the back who, what, where, when, or who, what, where. So I can do some journaling on there and then circle dates on here. Really cute um, tickets. And then over here I just made a tag and then I could put a picture here and then this tag can kind of just go over there. And then this is what the back looks like for some journaling. Okay, and I'll just, I'll just stick all of these on later. Okay, on this one I left pretty plain. I just have the little rabbit in there and then I have the tag here. I tried to match the tags for the most part, but so I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I could probably layer a picture like right over here and then maybe put some embellishments over that once I get some pictures in there. Okay, and then on this side, I have another cutout from the paper collection, Prima Bling. This is one of the little rosettes that I got from Mary from Ordinata Creations. Thanks, Mary. Flowers are so pretty. These are the black skeleton leaves that I got from um, Bunma over at IamRoses.com. And then this is just um, three of the little cards that you can cut out from the Jabberwocky paper from the collection. And then I have some journaling um, stamps that I put there in the back. Okay, and then on this side, I cut out the little rabbit, and then I put the knowledge philosophy token because the rabbit's the smart little guy. And then I used one of the um, clocks, and then I put the hands, the Tim Holtz, face clock and then I put the hands and this is all alcohol inked with the pitch black alcohol ink. Got some Prima Bling here and then I didn't adhere the, old, the entire thing down so I could insert this little journaling um, page. And basically what I did is I used, let's see if I can get it out here. And I used this for art journaling but I was like trying to figure out how I can make an, a, a little accordion so I used my black scotch tape or is this called scotch tape? Masking tape I guess. And um, I made a little um, accordion so I can put some photos or journal on there however I want to do that and then on this side too because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do and I didn't want to do the whole Brad thing again so anyway so that goes there and then again a, a tag again plain so I can stick photos on there okay so far so good on the page turning here guys okay and then I have the cat here, and then again, Mod Podge. I glimmer missed this piece of cheesecloth with, um, I think it was cinder. So black magic, and yeah, cinder, glimmer mist. And then I Mod Podged it onto the cutout, and this is the, the cat inside the pumpkin. And then this is from the Tim Holtz. Um, let's see here. I have it right behind me, so let me just grab it. I forgot the name of the... It's just called Calendar 2. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I basically just um, stamped it, cut it out, and then I glimmer mist it with Black Magic Glimmer Mist. And then I put a journaling spot in the back, says Memories. And then I'm probably going to put a photo on here. So, stick that there. I kept this side simple. It's just the Mad Hatter with the shoe. It's so cute, his shoe's like off, and then he has like a cup of tea in his hand. 
So I'm probably going to do something just like a picture maybe in there. And then again, there's a tag that goes in there. Okay. So far so good on the turning. I better stop because it's probably going to not turn now. Okay. No, here it goes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now on this side, I use some of the um, black uh, lace bead pearl thing that I really like um, that I got from... Uh, Hobby Lobby from uh, Cindy. She helped me get my hands on that. And then she gave me the website, guys, and I think I put it on another video, but it's a treasurenest.com. They actually sell this lace, so check them out. And then um, these are actually, I wonder if I have them out so I can show you. These are actually from place cards that I got at Michael's. And I can't, oh, here they are. Here they are. So they, they basically look like this. They're the place cards. And I just cut them in half and just, I'm going to use them as journaling spots. And they match the paper collection perfectly. See, so you could put some journaling on the back. And then I just insert that there. I'm just going to put that there for now. And then I cut out a little, um, the tea and the cups. And then I have a little tea charm on there. And then on this side, um, I kept this side pretty simple. It's got the, the pumpkin teapot. And then I cut out um, Alice and the rabbit and the Mad Hatter having tea together. And then the other journaling spot here and then on the back side really simple I'm gonna put some photos there and then I just have Alice holding the poison sorry I'm off camera a little bit <coughs> and then on this one my favorite favorite trim from a treasure nest.com and then I have some of these um, pumpkin charms that I got from eBay and then a couple of my black aluminum roses and then this is just cutouts from the paper collection that I'll use as journaling spots so there's those two, and then just these. Okay, and then again the tag back here. And that is it, you guys. Oh, and then the back side, um, I just um, put a little corner thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to put back here yet, but I can put a photo or whatever back there. So anyways, that is my Halloween mini album, tissue roll mini album. Hope you guys like it. Oh, and I've been working on my tag, and I've, I've laid it out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I've showed you guys um, this tag that I did on a previous video and it's got you know glass bead gel and cheesecloth and just a lot of things going on there and I just love the background but I haven't had a chance to play around with it so but hope you guys are all having um, a great day have a great week everyone talk to you later bye <music>